What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another reaction video. We got the riskiest My Strange Addictions. Let's check this out. This program depicts addictive behavior that could be dangerous in nature. Yeah, viewers should not attempt. Well, the people that are in this video should not be attempting this dumbass shit either. I am addicted to drinking gasoline. Oh, I remember this bitch. It tastes like sweet. Like dead ass? Like dead ass, bro? How is How does she not die? Like, bro, and they, they said she did this shit for years, too. How do you... How, wait, what'd she say? It burns the back of my throat. It burns the back of her throat. No shit. It's gasoline, okay? We love you unconditionally. Will you please get help? Shannon, you could die. You could die tomorrow. I still can't stop. That is crazy, bro. My name is Tom. I'm 55 years old. Okay. I live in Mount Pleasant, Texas. Addicted to cycling? And cycling is my addiction. I mean, is like, a like that, that's not the word. I was, this is probably like the most normal addiction I've ever seen on my stream addiction. Like, but, but this is, this is um kind of like, it can be dangerous because he's getting way too much exercise and shit like that. It's but a few hours. this is the, probably the most normal thing I've ever seen on my stream addiction. Not even gonna lie Tom to you. Tom started cycling as a hobby 25 years ago but it quickly consumed his life. And now he's ridden more than a million miles. I'm I know bro legs are exhausting, gang. No painful to me. Tom spends at least eight hours a day, seven days a week. Eight like, hours a day is crazy, gang. Hours a year. I'm not ashamed of how many hours I, I spend on a bike. The first thing I think about when I wake up is cycling. Coworkers, they know where to find me. I'm always on my indoor bike. Wow. I'm right there by the phone. I have my computer attached to my bike. This and nigga, as as bro. I get home from work, I Crazy ass bike, addiction. Uh, come back after about an hour and I clip in and start going. You know, 40 some extra hours a week on my bike is kind of like a second job. It completely consumes That's his Tom's friend all day long. That's all he does. Tom has spent more than 82 hours on a bike, bro. That's more than nine full years. Wow. The reason that I spent that is crazy, so man. It's because I get that endorphin, that wonderful feeling while I'm pedaling. In my little man cave sometimes, since there's no bathroom in here, and I don't want to get off the bike, so I would just use... Okay, that's oh, trifling, gang. Right. I ain't gonna go lie, bro. Is that is trifling. It's Tom's so son. Grant. <laughs> but nah, that's trifling as fuck, gang. In 2009, Tom took his addiction to the extreme and pedaled for more than seven days straight. I said, no I way, bro. The record was 182 hours on a station. No drive. way, bro. From day I, refu I, I refuse to believe this shit. No. Night. I fell off the bike once. I fell asleep off when I was on the bike. <laughs> <laughs> but Tom a big price for his cycling achievements. He lives in constant, excruciating pain and can barely walk because of his addiction. My body is so adapted to the position of cycling that I can't stand up or walk 100 yards without pain in the hip flexors and low back. Seems like a skill issue, buddy. See those little twinges of pain, you know, gradually increase continuing to ignore it and continuing with the cycling at the level and number of hours in a day that he's doing he may end up having permanent damage if you can't walk the length of a football field without pain it's like you're holding yourself back by not taking care of or listening to your body and if you choose to ignore it your cycling career may come to an end but tom's heard all these arguments before 10 years ago a doctor told him that he would lose the ability to walk if he wow. turned back on his cycling. I mean, shit, Tom that's true, gang. Like, bro, you use your concerned. your legs too much for this bullshit. Irreparable damage. I really don't believe that I have. I continue to believe the movement of cycling is beneficial. Tom Nigga, bro, after the doctor just told him that he could lose his damn ability to walk, he's still gonna do this. Like, bro, some niggas are just retarded. He declines them. Tom's family wants him to slow down, but he refuses to stop. It is frustrating to me. He's not gonna be able to go forever at the pace that he is. I don't wanna get a call one day saying that something happened. 
I, I see no reason to spend less time cycling. I think I'll be able to ride until I die. Wow. Addicted to bleaching skin. My Wait, what? Jesus. I'm 19. I'm going to school in Fullerton, California. No way this bitch is 19, bro. And I'm addicted to bleaching my skin. More like 25, gang. The skin bleaching started when I was in the 10th grade. In the 10th I went grade? To a more predominantly white school. So being dark wasn't really popular. The darker so? you were, the more mistreated you got. So I just started. I mean, bro. Skin. You gotta learn how to deal with that, gang. I say on me, dark is ugly. Why you wearing a hoodie? Because it helps me to keep from getting darker. I know her ass sweating like a yeah. motherfucker under that hoodie, bro. Bro, it like it's goddamn, what, 95 degrees outside. She, the only person out there with a black hoodie. Like, come on, gang. I haven't bleached her skin for the last three years. I use skin bleach four times a day in the car four times a day is nasty church. she says a lot of time it's a beauty regimen i she look just like her mom it is totally an addiction during times of stress can supply skin bleach up to 20 times a day we'll put this one on how bro how much money does she spend on skin bleach bro like dead ass this one um it's kind of stings when you um have an open sore Mini skin bleach contains mercury and a toxic metal known to cause neurological and kidney damage. Damn. So, how lighter do you want to get? Maybe like two shades, three shades lighter than this. I don't see any progress. Bro, like, she's not even really dark for real, gang. She's brown skin. <laughs> like, yo. This bitch want to be white? She trying to pull a Michael Jackson? Like, yo. I mean, I think my skin is perfect. Yeah, see, it looks good on you. Dark don't look good on me. I don't believe you. You know there's health issues with using skin bleach, and this could kill you. I mean, I know what can happen, but I'm just willing to gamble the risk. It's crazy. My name's Kimberly. I'm 26 years old. Okay, bro. Okay, now. we're get. We're, okay, we're we're starting to really get to the weird stuff now, bro. Addicted to eating laxatives? You're addicted, you're, bro. You're addicted to being shitty. The fuck? In Virginia with my parents. He wants to go. But there's no way she's from my I'm state, gang. Relaxing. No way. Nah, bro, you're weird. You're weird. Nah, this is crazy. About ten times a day or more. Did she say ten pounds a day? Laxatives, probably about ten times a day. Ten times a day, bro. What? I probably take about one hundred and fifty a day. The most was probably around. That's not healthy at all. They'll cause my stomach to make weird growling noises, and sometimes I'll have to immediately throw it back up. That right there, bro. For every day for five years? There's no, bro, there's no so way, bro. There's just no tall, way. And 105 to 108 pounds. Ew, look at her it's stomach. And oh, hell, bro, nah, this is not healthy, gang. You can see your damn... What is it? What is this called? Like your solar plexus or some shit? Five to 108 pounds. Like, bro. After my first year of college, I'd put on the freshman 15. My roommate told me about the laxatives. And the more I took, bro, she weighs like, like 50 pounds result. when she's soaking so wet, gang. More and more. I've probably lost around 50 pounds. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah. Laxative abuse can lead to dehydration, irregular heart. Wait, hold on. Irregular what? Regular heart rhythm and death, like bro. Some like some of these be Honestly, hard for me to really, you know what I'm saying? Um, believe because like, this shit it just don't make sense, bro. Because how motherfuckers gonna be doing this and not be dead? My stomach and told me I should probably quit. God be definitely on their side because yo, this is I crazy. About it for a day or so. No one knows about Kimberly's laxative addiction. My mom and pretty much everyone in the family. I swear, bro. If any of my friends or family members come to me telling me someday they're addicted to eating laxative, bro, I, bro, I am disowning them real quick. To eat, I tell them that I'm trying to do something about it because I don't want them to know what's going on. She pushes me away if I say anything too much about her weight. 
you know, I just don't want her to take Yo, him. Yo, nah, that is, nah, come like on, that. bro. I just really want to see Kim happy. That's like 20 yeah, boxes of laxatives. I completely isolated myself from everyone. I just want to be at home and take my laxatives and be near the bathroom. Well, when I first started taking the laxatives, it would make me extremely sick and I would have to spend more time in the bathroom. At this point, I have to take them to be regular. Regular is crazy. I'm Addicted to eating potter and cigarette ashes? I Bro, what? It's something that my body kind of just craves. Eat potter? What? It's kind of salty and kind of gritty. And I like the way it dissolves on my tongue. I don't smoke, but my older sister, she smokes. And bro, you like, and your older sister are weird as fuck. I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. She's smoking cancer sticks and you're eating them. Like, bro, what, bro? This weird ass family right. game, bro. What the I hell? You can actually crave ashes. It's disgusting. You're smoking. <laughs> smoking cigarettes. That's disgusting. The ashes look really good. No, that's not good. <laughs> That's really weird, BB. You're not gonna eat none of these ashes. She hates it. She tries to like hide it from me or grab it from me, but that doesn't stop me. I know it's not edible, right? Yeah, which kind of makes it more satisfying. Are you serious? Oh, nah, bro, yeah. Freak ad, man. <laughs> oh, hell no. I think BB to the ashes because the powder just wasn't gritty enough for her. She says the material of the ashes grinds against her tongue a little bit more than the she got a tongue ring too. So have, we, have you eaten any pottery lately? I have. You have any with you right now? Matter of fact, don't I eat any No fucking me. way, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Oh <laughs> hell no. I got these shits in a yeah, fucking baggy, pocket, bro. So like, Bianca. I gotta keep it. Stop. Bianca, uh -huh. you're not gonna eat that in front of me. W you sister. This today. That's on, ridiculous. No. No. <laughs> you're not eating this in front of me. Lunch Her sister never. bad as hell, though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> her smoking cigarettes is just a turn off though i ain't gonna hold you time, I don't want her eating ew now it's getting serious that is that I'm is josh and i'm obsessed with eating glass there's no fucking way bro there's no way there's no way. Nah, bro. Nah. This shit has gone too far. This shit has gone too far, bro. Nah. 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 Nah, bro. The fuck you mean you're addicted to eating glass, nigga? Like, bro, there's no way this nigga's mouth is not all cut up, bro. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. That's got to be plastic or some shit. This there's no way this is actually glass. glass. Uh, anywhere Yo. than this, it gets a little thicker. And uh, it gets a lot more dangerous to bite down. Josh eats up to five, bro. Uh, eats glass up to five up. times a day is uh, crazy, guys, bro. My buddy Dan's, uh, we're gonna yeah, this nigga party. look weird, like, bro. Nigga got just sideburns, no goatee, and his weird ass hairstyle. That's my deal, right? I killed you last year, bro. Usually in situations like this, when people are around, you know, I'll find uh, any type of glass I can. Uh, eat. Ew. It was a bad idea to sit with a little lamp. Yeah, there's pizza, buddy. <laughs> no fucking way. He just took the. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, gang. Nah, I would disown this nigga. I bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh hell no, bro. I'm getting up and I'm smacking this nigga, bro. I'm dead ass. I'm being so dead ass, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. There's no way this nigga is that comfortable eating glass in front of all his friends. I, bro, I would have told his ass to get out of my house. I'm not going to go hold with you, bro. Uh, Yo. Incredibly fun game of I know. That light bulb was, was working fine, Josh. Nah, for real, bro. This nigga really just unscrewed a light bulb, crushed it up, and now he's eating it. You don't eat that. How does one discover they um, like the taste of light bulbs? Read a book. It was gnarly. Read a you know, book? I've never had anybody just kind of whip out light bulbs and be like, you know, like it's popcorn, you know, just start eating it. Look at that, Josh. Don't. Josh, you're starting to upset people. You really Maybe think you I just, can eat this? You need to stop. You really think I can eat this? I don't want to find out. <laughs> 
Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, dude, you could have. Oh, you're gonna rip open the side of your mouth. Is Whoa. she okay? Are you gonna go see if she's all right? No, she's fine. She looked upset. Doing it for the attention is. This is Beyonce. Yeah, you better leave this I'm nigga. I'm so worried about him. I don't know what it's doing to him. So it's scary. It's really scary. Nah, bro. No. Oh, oh my God. Nah, this nigga is on some crazy shit, bro. <laughs> Why are you doing okay, that? Because there's no silverware. Okay, that okay I won't do. Like a drug addict type action right there. Bro, for Sound real. Like, and no, nobody's got got the sense to tell him to stop or take it away from him. Like, boy, y'all are legit just sitting here letting this nigga do this shit. And I wouldn't be surprised if he take this nigga's glasses off and crush this shit up and eat it too. That's. Probably nails on a chalkboard. I bro, I swear, if, if a friend of mine is coming to me, talking about something they eating glass, or if I see them eating glass, I'm they're getting disowned, bro. They're getting disowned. I promise you. I promise you, bro. I definitely hope he seeks help. All it's gonna do is butcher your insides and cause GI bleed. That nigga finna shit out glass. That nigga booty hole finna be raw, gang. Your stomach inside that's gonna break down glass. From the reactions I was getting tonight, seeing a lot of my friends. I am willing to find out what it truly is doing to me. My name is Shannon. I'm oh 20 years gosh. old. And I'm addicted to drinking gasoline. No. Oh my gosh, bro. Like, how is this shit even possible? Go a day without it. How, like, bro, how is she not dead? Like, dead ass. How is she not dead? Go to the washroom and drink the gas. If I go out somewhere, I'll put it in a small water bottle. When I fill up my car, I'll put it all over my hand. I do it before I go to bed. It consumes your life. One year ago, Shannon developed a deadly addiction to drinking gasoline. Since then, she's gone from tasting the toxic liquid on her fingers to taking swigs of it. Now, like, I love the smell of gasoline, bro, but I have never thought to myself, like, hmm, one day, let me go ahead and drink some gasoline, bro. See how that shit tastes. Fuck no, bro. That shit is weird. Like, it bro. Like sweet and sour, like a tangy sauce. It tingles at first, and then it burns the back of my throat. Even though it, it hurts me, it makes me feel good. When I first found out Shannon drank gasoline, Damn, I her mom bad. I ain't gonna hold you. Breath, more or less confirmed. Shannon drinks up to 12 teaspoons of gasoline a day. That's more than five gallons in the last year. My favorite way of <sighs> drinking the gasoline is through the gas can or jerry can. I'm gonna take the cap off and I breathe in the fumes that come forcing out of the can. Sometimes if there's any gas on the lid, I will lick it off. After I put my tongue on the end here, and tip it upside down. And I usually count to 15. And it tastes really good. Shannon's addiction has become so intense, she's even found other ways to consume gasoline. Eating the newspaper sandwiches, that's like a daily bonus. So usually I just put as much as I think that I'll no eat fucking way, bro. into the cup. And oh, hell no, nah, bro. Oh, hell no, nah, bro. No, nah, this bitch is weird. What the fuck, bro? Like, dead ass, dead ass. No, nah, no, nah, this can't be real. This can't be real, bro. I, I refuse to, bro. I refuse to believe that this is real, gang. There's no way this motherfucker ripping up newspaper and dipping it in gasoline and eating it like it's a sandwich. Bro, that, bro. There is some weird ass people in this world, gang. I swear this. Oh my gosh, bro. Let, let's go ahead and try and finish this video. Oh my gosh. It terrifies me because Shannon lives on her own. So I don't know how much she consumes on a daily basis. But Shannon's love for gasoline didn't develop overnight. <sighs> I've really always loved the smell of gasoline. I remember when I was younger, I uh, used to sit behind my mom's car and just breathe in the exhaust fumes. Okay, now that's weird, bro. So she always been a weird ass jit. 
The first time I drank gas, it was not good. It burns really bad. If it was not good, why can't you drinking it? I was really upset and alone, and I've always really been sort of depressed. Oh my gosh, here we go. Here we go with the depression, bro. Like, I just want, like, bro, depression is, is no joke for real. But like, bro, there I hate I hate when motherfuckers blame weird shit on depression. That shit like that shit be legitimately pissing me off, bro. Just because you're depressed, oh, it makes you it makes you want to drink gasoline. Hell nah, bro. You just just say you're weird. You're weird, bro. Oh my gosh. Separation when I was seven, and it sort of was an escape. And now it does make me feel normal. Gasoline is a mixture of 150 toxic chemicals refined from crude oil. Drinking gasoline can cause vomiting, nervous system damage, and death. I get really dizzy. I have really sharp chest pains. I have pains in my stomach, in my intestines. Yeah, that shit finna rip her my apart. My fear is that she could die. <clears throat> I couldn't imagine life without her. sister. Her. Yeah, I would have disowned her ass. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gang. Just at my wit's end. I will do anything she needs for her to stop drinking gasoline. Put her in a damn yeah, mental institution, insane. gang. It's gonna kill me, and I still can't stop. It's scary. <sighs> Queens, New York. Okay, bro. Okay, now this is trifling. This is trifling, bro. No, uh, no, no. And I'm expecting my first child. And I love sniffing and chewing dirty diapers. Bro, no, bro. She is way too pretty to be doing this shit. It has to have pee in it. It has to have pee in it. The heavier ones that have more pee smell better. Yeah. Mmm. This one's soft. I love it. It just tastes amazing. Ew, bro. In the kitchen, I have one in my drawers. I have one while I'm sleeping. Oh hell, nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. This is good. Hold on. Oh fuck no, bro. Nah, bro. Like you know when you're walking into a room and you smell like a strong smell like food and you kind of taste it. That's what it's like. Nah, bro, you're weird I as fuck. Find a lot of nah, bro, hey, you, you, this is our fiance right here, bro. I, bro, <laughs> get rid of her, nigga. <laughs> Leave now. Now go, bro, go get some milk and never come back, nigga. Like, bro. All over the place. I brought my car to the car wash and I saw one of the workers pull diapers from beneath the car seat. It's embarrassing. Do you smell that? There's a diaper. See what I'm talking about? This is really an issue. Keisha gets most of her diapers from her friend. Ke so, oh, oh, bro, what? Hurry up, baby's crying. So basically, it's so basically, you're just using your friend to eat dirty diapers. Nah, this shit is weird, right, gang. This shit is weird. What time it is? She'll wake my baby up to take the diaper that's on the baby. I want to, I want to take this one off of her here. Oh my god, we're she's gonna, gonna cry. We're gonna take this one off. Here. Okay, nah, bro, nah, 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 bro, nah, no way, bro, no. Dog, 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 This is ready to go. She's sleepy. Don't change her diaper right now. She's going to cry. The twins give me a hard time to go to sleep in the first place. She comes, she's making noise, going through the garbage pails. It wakes the babies up, and it's nasty. This is getting, like, out of hand. 
My addiction to diapers started about three years ago. One of my friends was changing her baby and she gave me the diaper to throw out. And I kept it for like a week and I smelt it like every morning, night. Since her first dirty death, Keisha has collected over 25,000 dirty diapers. When Keisha come here, I'm there's coming. diapers in a cup. Just wash the cup out. Hey, no, get rid of that. No, throw that cup away. Ain't no wash in no cup, nigga. You just put a dirty diaper in there, bro. Stop throwing my stuff out. Come on. I try to like work with her, but I feel like she goes beyond for her diapers. She's even willing to dig in the garbage for her diapers. Come on. I'm gonna smell them just one last time. Nah, bro. Nah, no. throw them damn diapers please, away, bro. No. Ain't no please. Nah, fuck no. You're weird as fuck, bro. You guys can Dead ass. Yourself. You're weird. I mean, I guess this is like the last resort. I'm fed up. I had enough. This is fed up? Ridiculous. What? You're fed up? Bro, oh my gosh, bro. I. S <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. I swear. I swear, bro. I swear my fiance wears to ever eat dirty diapers bro i promise you i promise you bro i'm leaving never coming back i don't give a fuck if she is pregnant i am leaving and never coming back bro that shit is weird gang that's weird what the fuck do you mean you're addicted to eating dirty diapers bro she's going to her friend's house to collect dirty diapers to, bro what Bro, I don't know. I don't know what else to say, bro. Like, I don't even, I don't even feel like doing my outro, bro. Again, <laughs> like, for like that ass, bro. I'm gonna just leave it off here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, hope you guys enjoy. You know, what I'm saying? if you did, we just gotta like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. You know what I'm saying? And I'm out. <laughs>